and I look and I said, that looks like Mrs. Kennedy at the end of the hall. Because you know how she held herself always so correct. And, and I said, it is. And I dropped everything and ran down the hallway. And I said, oh, Miss Kennedy, I, I, I mean, Miss Onassis. <laughs> and I said, oh, my name is Tina Turner, and I just want to say hello. And she said, and this big smile came. Oh, thank, I want to say thank God for the smile. And she extended her hand, and she said, oh, uh, very nice to meet you. And I had just spent time at Hyannisport with Ethel and Robert's kid children. We've had all did the pony and dancing. And, and I think she wished that she had been there for that after I told her what we were doing. And she said, oh, my kids would be so pleased. I said, well, you know, are they here? And so she said, oh, no, they're, they're, they're sleeping, uh, whatever it is, she said. But anyway, as I turned, then there he was. He was <laughs> this big. He said, oh, like a big Santa. And I said, oh, hi. I almost called him Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> I was totally just like that. It was... It was what? It was meeting an icon. It was what it feels like when you meet an icon. And I'm sure I'm that for a lot of rock people. And she's that on another scale. She's someone that you have worshipped and watched and mimicked and uh, used as a reference for um, uh, helping yourself to become a better person, a, a better a lady rather than a woman, uh, all of that, you know. Yeah, it was, it was a moment. I thought she was pretty, how she held herself, how she dressed. She never spoke that much, but how she always held her composure, even, no, I can't talk about that because I'll cry. Even at the funeral, how she carried, how, you remember how she stood there, how she carried herself. She always carried herself correctly, it looked like. So that was something that when you're a country girl and you don't have anyone helping you with that, you, that's who you look to for that. Not Marilyn Monroe, which, oh, by the way, <laughs> yes, I realized that. So <laughs> that was a little competition there, but I was never, I never looked to those kind of stars for reference in terms of bettering myself. I always looked to try to become a lady and I think Jackie was a perfect example of a lady. Yeah, because when you, when you know you're not a lady, not that you do something necessarily, but you don't handle yourself in that way. People don't see you as a lady. How can I explain that? You weren't brought up as a lady. You were brought up as a country girl, farm girl, and then you, you, you join your mother and you never become a lady because you're not in the environment of that. And then when you see someone that carries themselves so nicely and you, you, you say, I, don't want, I want to be like that. I want something just like this. <laughs> and that's what I wanted. I remember buying the pearls and the carrying myself different. And everyone thought that I was more than not only just a lady, not even a woman because the short dresses, the dancing. And I think I looked more to a lady because of my style as well. No one would, would have thought that I was a lady with my style on stage. That you would have thought Diana Ross, the nice big dresses and all of that, but you know, that that didn't quite fit with the emotions of performing. You know, that's why, I think, I think that's why. You, you don't try to be just like, you just take what you need. All I needed was when I was approached, unladylike, you immediately give it, turn that side that you have taken as a lady to them. And then they realize that you're not what they thought, that you're a lady. So I think it went over time when they met me or they did some, not dealings, how they, they, how they came in contact with me at a party or whatever, that I wasn't just this really loose woman that I was a lady, even though it sounds like it because when I asked my husband to make love to me, <laughs> I didn't do anything, but they didn't hear me. But I, I took as much of being a lady from her as I could, and I carried that with me through life. Don't I look like a lady sitting here? Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I, I, I took that along the way with me. I, I dressed, I 
act. I, I'm careful with how I act or, or in public or whatever. I, I care about those things. I realize that they are nice. It's, a, it's, a, it's refreshing. Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are still mourning the death of a legend, the death of an icon, Tina Turner. And in this particular video that you have just watched, Tina Turner was also paying tribute to some of the most influential people in her life and describing them as icons as well. And it's really interesting to hear her describe somebody as a person that she looks up to because, you know, Tina Turner herself is a legend. So it's very interesting that she also had people that she looked up to. Um, as many of you are now aware, Tina Turner passed away most recently. And basically, we also wanted to have a look at how she spent her final months. So we understand that she spent her final months taking yoga classes at the park, shopping for Italian designer clothes, and also her favorite foods. In terms of her last days, Tina Turner acknowledged that she had put her body in danger with non-conventional medicine in her last social media post, which she shared days before her death. The legendary singer died at the age of 83 in Switzerland on Wednesday following a long illness. We understand that Tina Turner was plagued by ill health, including suffering a stroke and battling cancer. The soul and rock music legend also suffered kidney failure, which led to a transplant in 2017. In her final post, she wrote, My kidneys are victims of my not realizing that my high blood pressure should have been treated with conventional medicine. I have put myself in great danger by refusing to face reality that I need daily lifelong therapy with medication. For far too long, I believed that my body was an untouchable, indescribable bastion. The family spokesperson confirmed that Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, died peacefully at the age of 83 after a long illness. With her, the world loses a music legend and a role model. Tina Turner was born Anna Mae Ballock on November 26, 1939, in USA. She became famous in the late 60s as a singer of the band Ike and Tina Turner, but later she became successful worldwide as a solo artist. With her music and her vitality, Tina Turner thrilled millions of fans and inspired many artists of subsequent generations. Global hits like What's Love Got To Do With It, Private Dancer and The Best more than 180 million albums sold, 12 Grammy Awards, and over three decades of sold-out stadium tours around the world are just part of her unique legacy. May her soul rest in peace.